Uh, you know what? Let's just push. Got him. Yo, that drop shot. Let's go, baby. And we got the advanced. All right, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, my goodness. Yo, they have no idea. They have no idea. Yo, let's go, baby. Hold up. C4? Oh, I got a hit mark on that guy. Right here, buddy. Yo, that was super athletic. Don't lie. Don't even lie. Don't even play with yourself right now. Yo, the Growl 5.56 is definitely my favorite gun in the game right now. And as soon as you guys unlock this weapon, I know 100% for a fact you guys are going to enjoy using it as well. It is a really great versatile gun. Number one, the recoil is almost non-existent. Number two, it melts from distance. And number three, it's a very versatile weapon. The handling is great. I definitely deem it a top tier weapon in the game. And I would say it's going to slowly become the meta as soon as more people start unlocking this gun. I'm really having fun with this gun, and I know you will too. So let's go over the class setup really quick. So this is my setup number one, which is the monolithic suppressor. This is going to increase our damage range as well as sound suppression so we can stay as stealthy as possible. I love being stealthy, and I love to flank and being sneaky. I really love playing that play style. Uh, then for the barrel, this one is where you're going to switch it out depending on what kind of map you're playing on. If you're playing on a much smaller map, then you want to go with the drifter a08 barrel because this one is going to give you that more cracked aim as well as a faster movement speed five percent faster to be exact and that is a significant difference you're going to be moving around the map really quickly and this is going to be very important now it does have a damage range reduction to it but you know that's nothing to worry about it only reduces your four shot kill range to 25 meters but when you think about it most of your engagements are well within those ranges and it's not really gonna matter anyway because this gun has a pretty good fire rate as well now if you're playing on a much bigger map or a map with longer lines of sight like Ramaza for example that's the gameplay that I'm gonna show you later so this barrel offers the most damage range possible at 30% more range so that is a four shot kill from that 5 to 50 meter distance this attachment makes it a huge monster from long range and you're definitely going to be melting enemies and the fact that it has recoil control as well is a huge plus this gun already has zero recoil as is and you're going to be able to knock out enemies from long distance pretty easily you're going to see that later on the gameplay it's almost unbelievable with how you can get headshots really easily with this weapon it's just absolutely amazing you guys are going to have a lot of fun using this class setup now you do have to play a little bit more reserved it does come with a movement speed reduction as well as an aim down sight speed reduction as long as you pre-aim down sights around every corner you move a little bit smarter more methodical you are going to be able to move around with this attachment all right so moving on to the rest of the attachments here let's put this back on uh, we got on the no stock to mitigate that movement speed reduction and it'll also give us that aim down sight speed which is really nice then we've got on the rear grip xrk void 2 aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed and lastly, we got the 50 round mags. This one is optional, but I think it's necessary, especially on a weapon like this, because the fire rate is so high. You're going to run out of bullets really quickly. That's about it for the attachments. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely drop a like if you do enjoy these live gameplays. And I do try to break down what I'm doing while I'm playing the game so you guys can learn something from it as well and not just watch me play the game. So yeah, leave a like on this video if you want to see more live gameplay. And subscribe if you're new around here. Join Turbo Nation. Make it official today and i will see you guys in the gameplay please time. can i go up here that was worth a try yo stop it stop it let's put on dead silence we have enough ammo just want to see exactly where these dudes are coming from oh my goodness the stopping power of this weapon and i don't even have stopping power on it yo let's go baby Hold up. C4? Oh, I got a hit mark on that guy. Right here, buddy. Yo, that was super athletic. Don't lie. Don't even lie. Don't even play with yourself right now. Yo, we got a triple, baby. All right, let's call in this uh, VTOL really quick because we're using a different combination of perks now. We're using Kill Chain. It's going to allow us to get our uh, kill streaks with our kill streaks. So right now, I only need two more kills. Really hope. I don't choke this. 
Okay, we need one more. We're on a 10 right now. Come on, VTOL. Just get me that kill, and then we get an advanced UAV. Let's put on dead silence. I want to be able to hear the enemy. He's right there. Okay, we got our advanced UAV. We're not going to call it in just yet. Okay, he's coming in. He's coming in. Make sure I don't miss anything here. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. No, oh, God. Did he really just shoot my body, though? Hold on. Did he shoot my body? Okay, no, that was... That was the uh, decoy. All right, we still got our advanced UAV. I'm going to save it. I'm going to try to go on another streak here. Be really conscious of your teammates' position in the game. That's how you can predict enemy movement. And always pre-aim around those corners. And with this class setup, you've got pretty much that cracked aim. Yo, where did I, where did I get shot from here? Yeah, baby. That's what you get. That's exactly what you get right there, buddy. Got him. Should be another one here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's call it in. Should have called this in a long time ago. Come on, bro. Come on, broski. Come on, brother. Man, I love having that advanced UAV up there. Just gonna cut through here. He's probably gonna go up here. Bam, baby! Dude, epic timing. Dude, let's go, baby. What did we get that game? 23 kills. I wanna see what my final KD was. Uh, but as you can see, using this attachment, the drifter barrel is a lot more convenient on a smaller map. Because like I said, even if it does reduce that damage range, it really doesn't matter on a map like this because most of your engagements are most likely going to be a lot smaller than that. So we got a 3.29 KD. You know, ideally, I would like to use the drifter barrel uh, just because it's got a quicker aim down side speed. But dude, as you can see, man, this barrel is amazing. Archangel. I believe that's how you spell it. I mean, uh, pronounce it. Oh, come on, man. Nice flank, I guess. Dude, did I just get shotgunned? Okay. Yo, we're getting on a death streak here. We got to adjust. I'm actually not going to call in that UAV just yet. Not till I get another one. So I'm about to get one soon. One more. It's a running hard line. I'm going to preempt this. Hold up. He's got to be upstairs or downstairs. Okay, I got another one. It's always helpful. Got to watch out for those people wearing ghost. Okay, I'm really close to another. Yo, they're going to be coming this way. Got him. Just kind of like patrolling where they're going to be. I'm going to throw this down there. Oh, baby, just my luck. I don't know, L's, baby. No. I, I knew it. I, I had a feeling that that guy was going to get me. It's all about decision making, man, and the timings that you do everything. Okay, that's quick, too. We need one more for another UAV. So we are using hardline here. It's going to take me one less kill to get my kill streak. Yep, he's out there. Dude, this thing is amazing from range, man. Okay, there's a guy, like, right above me. I'm gonna use my dead silence, actually. I'm gonna get this guy first. I've got a suppressor on. They don't know I'm here. I'm gonna wait for this guy down here to come up. Got him. I'm gonna try to block off their pathway here. Teammate just died. Up here, let's go investigate. Yep, he's right there. Come back here. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Nope, I'm still alive. Let's reload this. Perfect. Yo, we gotta call this in ASAP. Get out of the way. Hopefully we should be able to get our VTOL because of that kill chain. Dude, that headshot though. Alright, we're running out of ammo. 
Let's go ahead and resupply. Need about three more. Uh, you know what? Let's just push. Got him. Yo, that drop shot. Let's go, baby. And we got the advanced. All right, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, my goodness. Yo, they have no idea. They have no idea. Oh, my gosh. I got to get out of here. Actually, no. Let's turn around. Yo, this is crazy. This is actually crazy right now. Okay, well, that's it. That's the end of the match. That was pretty exciting. Towards the end, we did make a comeback there. But as you can see, the recoil on this gun is pretty non-existent. And the fact that you've got the suppressor on it keeps you stealthy as possible. What do we get? We got 30 kills and 6 deaths. Obviously, you can't see because of my face cam, but nice.